SurfCam 6 now has a new multi-tool Z-Rough with rest roughing capabilities. This new rest rough allows separate control of each tool's Z depth of cut and retract options. And it's not limited to ball cutters. So let's take a closer look. Here we have our part and let's go ahead and let's uh, zoom into a section here. And we'll go up to NC, 3 axis, and go to Z rough. Let's just go ahead and let's select all of our surfaces and we'll say that we're done. We're going to select the top profile here and say OK. We're going to go up and select our chain, double click, and we're done. Here's the new dialog and here we see that we have rapid control. We also have separate control over X, Y, and Z stock to leave and overall surface tolerance. So as we go to our first tool, let's go ahead and let's do that. Let's select a tool. In this case, let's start with a 3 8 bull. We'll say OK. And we'll go up to the Cut Control tab. Now here we have separate control over the depth of cut. We'll refine our passes. We'll go over to Leads and Links. Let's select plunge ramping and for retract, let's select shortest route. We'll say OK. Now, one thing that we can do is we can add additional tools. So if we click right here, it expands a dialog and you see this green plus mark. We click that, that allows us to add another tool. So let's go here and let's see that we're going to change that tool and we'll select a bull and let's go down and let's get a quarter inch bull nose. We'll say OK. Now we'll go to the cut control tab for the second tool. We'll stick with our 100 step down and let's change our ramping here to plunge and change our retract strategy for that tool. We'll say OK and start the process. So here we see that SurfCam's made a nice tool path here for us. So let's take just a little bit closer look at it. Now let's go up to Verify. And to make it easier, I'm going to turn on the option here so that we can see each tool independently. Go ahead and we'll close that and start that section of Verify. Okay, there's our first tool. Let's zoom in a little bit closer so we can watch the second tool. Tilt this just a bit so that you can see more clearly. And maybe slow it down just a touch and say OK. So here you can see the second tool taking a different step down exactly where needed. So. Take advantage of SurfCam 6's new multi-tool Z-Rough with rest roughing capabilities.